you reveal your own deep field image from the James Webb Space Telescope. Now this is what Hubble saw in a similar patch of the sky. So it's still impressive, Hubble seeing, you know, some galaxies. Each one of those objects is itself an entire galaxy. But this is what James Webb reveals, its own deep sky image. Ooh, yes. Uh, yep. <laughs> but what, what's really fun, too, is you can look on the web and they have now adjacent images, one from Hubble and one from uh, mm -hmm. James Webb, and you can use a slider to go across and actually see how it's improved right. in all of these new images. It's, it's really Ta impressive. Just explain to us what we're really looking at here, because there's something very specific going on with the cluster of galaxies in the front. Yeah, so this is the SMAX 0723, that one? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so this is a cluster of galaxies that's not so very far away, and there's so much uh, material in it. The gravity of that cluster of galaxies is bending the light from the more distant ones. Mm -hmm. So we see all kinds of funny shapes in here, things that are not little round galaxies. They're stretched out into arcs and weird shapes and bubbles, and... Um, that's because nature gave us an extra lens for the telescope. It's called a gravitational lens. Mm -hmm. And we have catalogs of hundreds and hundreds of gravitational lenses to use. And this was a good one just to start with, because we knew we'd see something. Mm -hmm. And then, sure so they you, are. So you have this the kind of whitish in the center galaxy that's closer. Yeah. But what's really interesting is that there's stuff behind it much, much further away from much, much earlier in the universe, and it's bending around this galaxy in the front. And so that's causing these arcs and things, right? Yeah, so that's so, what those so those, arcs. they're like they're like fake images of the other galaxies yeah. behind it. Right. So yeah. some of them magnified uh, 10 or even 100 times. Which that's means huge. you're seeing them better than you would have if that galaxy, that big galaxy wasn't between us. Yeah. Or that cluster of galaxies. So. Yeah. So how old are some of the galaxies in this image, do you think? Well, I think the older ones that I know about are uh, 13, uh, but about 700 million after the expansion. Mm -hmm. But I think other people have found some that are yeah. much closer to the Big Bang. 